What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Street Fighter V and how much of a huge mistake was releasing this game without any form of single player, arcade mode, nothing tangible for those who like to play against the computer. Now, I'm old school, I remember when Street Fighter II was in the arcades, and I'll tell you right now, a Street Fighter game without an arcade mode is blasphemy. Even though Street Fighter V is an awesome game, it controls well, the characters, everything seems to be very well balanced, it's extremely beautiful and very artistic, the lack of an arcade mode feels like there's something very important missing from Street Fighter V, like a vital organ. And apparently, Capcom knows this. I'll drop a link in the description. We understand the popularity of some of the single player features, says Street Fighter V producer. Capcom's Yoshinori Ono has admitted he misjudged the launch of Street Fighter V, but there's still no word on an arcade mode. Street Fighter V is one of the best fighting games ever made, but at the moment, it's really just a shell of a game, with too few characters and almost no single player to speak of. Not that any Street Fighter game has ever had any particularly good single player content, but the lack of even an arcade mode has seen the game badly underperform in the sales charts. And now series overseer Yoshinori Ono has admitted as much in comments made to American magazine Game Informer. Quote, I think it's safe to say that we underestimated some of the popularity of some of the single player features. That said, we are excited about two all new single player modes, character and survival. And we have plans to continue to refine and expand on those experiences, end quote. It's widely believed that Street Fighter V's launch was rushed so that it could be ready for the big esports tournament in the spring. But Ono claims that the Capcom Pro Tour wasn't the only reason for why the game was released when it was. Quote, We understand that if we had more features ready at launch, it probably would have been better received by some of the more casual fans who tend to enjoy Street Fighter more via single player content as opposed to competitive play. End quote. A free story mode has always been promised for June and it's likely Capcom will try to relaunch the game then. There's still no word on an arcade mode despite that surely being a very simple thing to add. These are things that Capcom needs to fix immediately. Uh, to be honest, I don't play Street Fighter V like I would like to because I feel like it's lacking so much content. You know, I do enjoy playing through with different characters and seeing the endings for these characters. They got this tacked on kind of story mode on the game that really pisses me off. It looks like art drawn by a six year old that doesn't make any sense. Capcom is known for having some type of arcade mode with some kind of tangible ending for each character and it feels like they really dropped the ball just to go to the Pro Tour so people could be in these Street Fighter V tournaments. And of course, the tournaments are very fun to watch. Infiltration is incredible in Street Fighter V. He's probably my, my favorite to watch. Uh, that being said, Capcom should have thought more about the casual gamer and people in general who don't like to go into competitive matches. You guys let me know in the comments below, are you playing Street Fighter V? What do you think about Street Fighter V not having any kind of single player campaign that's worthwhile? You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.